I'm Lori Alder and I was diagnosed with breast cancer. It'll be three weeks ago tomorrow. I realize in a way God had been preparing me all the time. Um, he had made sure I got the mammogram, which um, I was not really planning on getting. I was kept putting it off. But where I work out, the mammogram truck, the traveling one, it just showed up in front of the place I worked out. And some friends of mine pretty much forced me to sign up for it. Um, and I'm so thankful that I did. Um, he knew that I wouldn't go to the mammogram, so he brought the mammogram to me. <laughs> um, and then um, that's some scary thing to be told that you have cancer. So um, he made sure that I was told by my family doctor, um, not my regular, not the oncologist. Um, my doctor got the test results from the um, mammogram and from the biopsy and everything. Um, he got the test results. Um, before I did, before I found out, and so he thought that I would have already known because that never happens. He usually gets them a week later, and so he called me to let me know that he was praying for me and he put me on a prayer list, and that's how I found out. So um, I was able to get someone that cared about me, that was um, a fellow believer, to tell me that I had this horrible thing. Um, but also God prepared me because a few weeks before I was diagnosed, he kept giving me the verses um, in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. And I knew something must be coming because why would he give me that verse? He laid it on my heart and he kept telling me um, in different ways. It would show up in devotions that I had. Um, I would see it written on something. Um, I was given a gift bag that said it. Um, it was just everywhere. So I, I wondered if something was coming. And I told him before I even knew anything about the cancer I told him that I would um, that I would trust him. Whatever happened, that I was tired of being a lukewarm Christian anyway. That I would choose to trust him. What whatever may come. I did not know cancer was coming, but um, that's what came. But I wouldn't change anything because since being diagnosed, and it's only been not even three weeks. Um, I have seen a side of him that I've never would have known. Um, he's opened my heart and my mind to things I never would have um, thought of or um, I guess what I'm calling it, I kind of felt like my, I had a spiritual cancer as well and I feel like he's healing that. During this this journey, you know, talks about how the joy of the Lord is our strength, and He's become our strength. And and we've talked about Romans 12, 12, where, where Romans 12, 12 says, Rejoice in hope, be patient in affliction, be faithful in prayer. And so we've got to rejoice during this time, knowing that, like we talked about before with you, Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good for those who love God, for those who've been called according to His purpose. We've been called to this right now. And, and so can we rejoice can we find joy in our hope in god right now be patient in affliction you know we don't like our affliction but be patient and then be faithful in prayer and we've just been on our knees in prayer trusting him saying you know he's not going to give us more than we can handle during this journey we're jeff and Lori alder and we're hope 360 storytellers and if any woman can relate to my story, feel free to email me.